Hey now, long hair Luke from the Short Term Shop, here to talk about one of my favorite subjects, HVACs. I love HVACs. Uh, they keep us cool, they keep us warm, and uh, it's one of the most important functions of the house. It really is. And, uh, you know, can be kind of scary and a, a little costly if, uh, if things go haywire, right? So... Uh, I'm just going to share you share with you some of the knowledge that I have over the years of accumulating uh, properties and being a full time real estate investor and uh, and just loving real estate in general and and uh, and I do love HVACs, man. I love to replace HVACs. It makes me very happy. It makes me it makes me happy to know that I'm providing a great place to stay or to live for for people, man. Making the world a better place. And uh, let's so basically you got two types of systems, right? With this terrible picture I found on the internet, and uh, you're gonna have a package system, which is there. There are gonna be heat pumps, by the way, but a, a package system is where the air conditioner and the heater are basically combined in one unit, and it is outside of the house. A lot of times, the reason it's a package unit is because maybe there's a, uh, not enough space to separate the heater from the air conditioner. Doesn't mean it's a bad thing at all. A lot of times it's kind of easier. You can just swap the whole thing in one in one go, and and you're you're done, right? Uh, so it's it's going to pump in the cold air through the through the registers. It's going to suck out the, uh, the the warm air through the again in the summertime uh, through the uh, the return, and the the thermostat is generally pretty close to the return. You want to measure the wall. Uh, you want measure the air. Near the return, maybe not just generally right next to it, but pretty close to it. And then the other option we have is what's called a split unit. Again, a heat pump, but a split unit. Uh, and this is where the furnace is inside the house. Generally in the in, in the Tennessee market, it will be in uh, the crawl space, uh, maybe a closet. And in, in Florida, it will probably be in the closet and or uh, an attic. If you have an attic in the property, is a good place to put a uh, uh, the furnace, the other half of the unit. And so split, as in it is in two different, you know, it's split in half, basically. So air conditioner outside, furnace on the inside, uh, and, and same thing. The, uh, the, the indoor unit is going to push the air around the house, and then you suck the air out of the house uh, with a return. And then you have a thermostat, of course. So here's the deal. These things only – everybody you, you talk to is going to give you a different answer on, on, on uh, lifespan, et cetera. I generally say 10 years. I've had an HVAC only last me eight years. I had one HVAC that was 22 years old. It was my pride and joy. So proud that it was uh, this older unit, right? But uh, I ended up uh, replacing that before it died because I, I sold the house, flipping the house. I was in a house that I owned a long time, but it was time to upgrade, get it ready for sale, get as much profit as possible. So I did upgrade the unit. Um, and uh, now I don't know how old my oldest uh, HVAC is, but... When I'm buying a house, I generally, I'll just take a look at the home inspection and uh, hopefully the home inspector uh, posted a picture or, or a picture of the serial number on the uh, unit itself uh, because you can simply Google that serial number and find uh, how old the unit is. Uh, a lot of times a home inspector will just tell you how old. Then maybe he already knows how to search for that serial number and uh, he put, you know, built in 2003, whatever it may be. But my over under on an HVAC is ten years, and uh, if it's if it's over ten years old when I buy it, then I know that it's probably pretty close to time to be prepared to replace it. It's not a big deal to replace an HVAC. Again, I I like to replace them. Uh, if it's under ten years old, I'll probably uh, not even think about it at all. I won't even plan to deal with it until you know a few years down the road. Uh, again, an HVAC can die at any time. Uh, so you just never know. Uh, and, and another thought on the subject, uh, f other than the ten, the over under for ten year rule uh, in, in my world, is how much is the repair? Uh, if it's a situation where it's just a dirty uh, evaporator coil that needs to be cleaned and it will uh, then uh, be functioning more efficiently and ready to rock, uh, and it's only three hundred bucks, I I will probably go ahead and do that if the especially if the unit is is only you know nine or eight or nine years old something like that. So. Uh, I also I have an un, over under of uh, about seven hundred dollars. Uh, I if if it's a, a repair that's going to cost me more than seven hundred dollars and the unit is more than ten years old, I am going to replace it. If the repair is under seven hundred dollars and the unit is under ten years old, I might go ahead and fix it. 
depending on what part of the uh, the unit is uh, needs needs attention. Uh, sometimes maybe my, my over under on price is 500 depends on my mood that day. If it's over 500 bucks, I'll, I'll probably just say, you know what, forget it, replace it because then you're just replacing an old unit one piece at a time. And, uh, to me, it's, it's much better to just go ahead and, and replace the whole thing and be done with it for theoretically another, uh, 10 years. So that's my thoughts on HVACs. Uh, I hope you uh, found some value in this uh, chat and I'm glad to uh, have you, on our uh, YouTube channel, uh, Short Term Shop on YouTube, and of course, the shorttermshop.com.